Good evening, classmates, and uh, in my video thread tonight, I'm going to be discussing the Presbyterian Church in the United States. Um, the Presbyterians um, first came to the United States, which at the time was the British colonies in North America in large numbers um, in the generation preceding the Great Awakening and the early to mid 1700s many of them were scotch irish um, presbyterians coming from um, britain uh, scotland in particular and northern ireland um, they settled in large numbers um, in originally in the middle colonies and um, they would also later go on to particularly um, form the basis for the majority of the population in what would become the the american south um, the Presbyterians um, would eventually become the largest, or what, not the largest, but one of the largest um, Protestant denominations in the United States, and um, they would become also one of the most influential denominations because of that. Um, um, there were several conflicts um, in the Presbyterian Church um, throughout their history in the United States. Um, one of the main conflicts ultimately was slavery. Um, Northern Presbyterian churchmen um, attested that their faith in the fundamental rightness, universal nobility and indefinite adaptability of free labor capitalism, i.e. not slavery. Um, this was um, in contrast to um, the southern clergymen um, who in some examples even promoted slavery and felt that um, pro-slavery millennialism which was the term that was used to describe their feelings on slavery um, regarded s slavery as a Christianizing agent to persist um, and progress throughout human history. Um, this can be read in uh, Timothy L. Smith's Righteous Righteousness and the Human I'm sorry, Righteousness and Hope Christian Holiness and Millennialism of America. Um, so Presbyterian clergymen in the North were generally against slavery, while Presbyterian clergymen in the South, while not necessarily being pro-slavery, in at least some circumstances defended it, and in many cases were actually slaveholders themselves. Um, another conflict that um, stemmed from slavery um, even following um, emancipation and the Civil War, even after slavery was no longer an issue, other Presbyterians, um, such as Robert Danby, who was, um, the served as the Chief of Staff for General Stonewall Jackson during the Civil War, um, he was known for his defense of the Old South um, and against both Northern political reform and the spread of industrial materialism. Um, and this occurred, of course, after the Civil War, with the North being victorious. Um, and we learn about um, Robert Danby in um, the history of Christianity in the United States and Canada by Knoll. Um, his conservatism, um, referred to Danby, helped shape the American South socially after the Civil War, making it the most conservative uh, part of the United States, which up, up until that time it wasn't necessarily the case. Um, and we also, uh, one of the other um, conflicts that the Presbyterian Church experienced um, was several um, trials for heresy uh, throughout the 19th century. One of the most uh, famous trials of which was of the, the heresy trial of Charles Augustus Briggs. And um, Harvey Hill writes about this trial in, um, in his um, authority and um, spiritual experience, oops, excuse me about that, I had it written down incorrectly, uh, but Henry Hill writes about, Harvey Hill writes about this in the History and Heresy Religious Authority in the trial of Charles Augustus Briggs. Um, essentially, this the conflict in this trial was, um, it was kind of a modern version of an older conflict um, between the old school Presbyterians and the new school Presbyterians, new school Presbyterians favoring the um, um, congregational authority, as in the, the people of the church, whereas the old school Presbyterians emphasized um, doctrinal purity and denominational authority, separating them from other Protestant denominations. So,
Thank you for listening to my video about um, Presbyterians um, in the history of the United States, and I look forward to watching everyone else's video. Thank you. Have a good night.